so Google recently made their text to image generator, Imogen 2, semi-available to play with. And let me tell you, some very interesting things happened, to say the least. So let's jump right in and check it out. So we see on Google's image research page that it will deliver unprecedented photorealism. Well, we'll put their name to the test. An easy way to access Imogen is to go to AI Test Kitchen. You will need to sign into your Google account for access. Choose Start with a tool, then launch ImageFX. To start off with, let's just do something really simple. How about a spaceship cinematic quality? It doesn't take too long and we get four images of spaceships. They're decent, not world-class, but decent. You will notice that Imogen adds these little pull-down tabs to the prompts. You can change the image up a bit. In this case, to cartoon or abstract. You can also change the quality to bad, good and excellent. Let's punch excellent in and see what happens. If I am being honest, I don't see a huge difference. They are a bit cleaner, I guess. Next, we'll try a fire-breathing dragon. I like that it seems to generate the images quite quickly. This dragon's okay. The consistency in the images is good. It's clearly the same dragon. I want to see how it handles copyrighted material. I think we have all seen better wolverines. It didn't hesitate to create it, though. How about a cat driving a car? The first three images just show a cat in a car. The final image kind of show a cat driving, I guess. Now things get really strange. Credit to Matt Wolf for this next prompt. A brown cow drinking chocolate milk. And we will hit generate and see what happens. As you can see, that was an unacceptable prompt. Now Midjourney and Dal E will do this too, but certainly not for a brown cow. So I decided to go with just a cow and see how that worked out. Generating, oh, generating. Come on, Imogen, you got this. Superfly. We got our cow drinking chocolate milk, and oh my god, there is a brown cow drinking the good stuff. This third cow is just eating grass, but it does look pretty realistic. Oh, I love this last little guy. He is bathing in it. Now, I really thought about not doing this, but I felt compelled to do so. It's just my way. I can't help it, so I'm doing it. There is no doubt in my mind that Google will stop this. They are very careful and thoughtful. There is no way in the world they would ever allow... Oh. I, I am, I'm not really sure how this happened. All jokes aside, does this mean Google is racist? Of course not, Google is the least racist company there is. What this is showing is that trying to police AI so carefully as to not offend anyone, that sometimes you end up offending everyone. That's all we have. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Your support means everything.